Thomas Sumter was born in Charlottesville, Virginia on August 14, 1734. He was the son of a Welsh immigrant miller and received a basic education during his modest upbringing. He joined the Virginia militia before his 20th birthday to fight in the French and Indian Wars and served on various expeditions into the backcountry. And like other uh, partisan commanders in South Carolina, like Andrew Pickens and Francis Marion, uh, gained a great deal of military experience uh, fighting against the Native Americans uh, during the period uh, before the Revolutionary War. In 1767, Sumter settled in Stateburg, in what would later be known as Sumter County, South Carolina. He married a local widow named Mary Jameson, and the two became prominent business and plantation owners. His position in the region afforded him the respect and ability to form a local militia, and in 1776, at the onset of the American Revolutionary War, he was elected Lieutenant Colonel of the South Carolina 2nd Regiment. His participation in numerous battles early in the war did not compare to the effect of his leadership during the partisan campaigns later on that would eventually lead to the defeat of the British Army at Yorktown, Virginia. The partisans uh, employed hit-and-run tactics. They uh, operated in small bands. They moved quickly. They uh, ambushed uh, supply trains. They ambushed isolated posts. Uh, so very much a different style of warfare from the uh, traditional 18th century uh, European military tactics. One British general commented that regardless of the size of General Sumter's army, his military tactics were fierce, that he fought like a gamecock. 